Hello everyone, Leon X here and welcome back to another tutorial for Chrono Trigger PC Steam version. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the music soundtrack with another alternative uh, music or w with whatever music you like. So let's get started. Step 1. You're going to need four things. The Sounds of Evolus, the CT Explorer, the Wavasaur, and the BGM uh, soundtrack list for Chrono Trigger. You can download all these on the video description below. And uh, once you download them, just extract them to wherever you want. Normally I just put them on my desktop. It looks really messy, but whatever works for you. So just make sure you have all those four and have them all open and ready. Step two, you wanna open up CT Explorer so you, you go to your uh, wherever you extracted your CT Explorer, open that one up, and then you're gonna open up where the directory of your Chrono Trigger uh, resource bin is at. So pretty much, if you haven't opened it, just go to File, Open Archive, and look for where your Chrono Trigger game file is at. So, so my case, it's it's on my C program files, uh, Steam apps common. Uh, Chrono Trigger and look for resource uh, bin which is this one right here this is what, what you want to open so once you open it you should see all this so um, yeah once you got that down you want either you want to look for your BGM uh, of files which is all the way right here it's the uh, sound BGMs. So, and this, and if you notice, uh, all the BGMs are listed from one through what fifty or sixty, with uh, A's and B's, three A, two A, B, all that. And pretty much, um, if you want to know uh, which one is which, this is where your BGM list file comes in. This, uh, the list here will give you um, uh, which ones. Are, uh, are are the soundtracks so for instance the battle theme song for Chrono Trigger which is uh, what 45 the battle theme here so if you want to replace this uh, battle theme 45 it will be this here so you would extract this so it will be you know right click and then hit extract and once you extract it will go uh, to, towards you know, whatever your output directory is and it will be uh, under a, a folder called sounds and then BGM the mods it will be under BGM um, it'll be under uh, sorry it'll be it'll go under uh, the sound BGM and then it will be called BGM 45 and if I could find it oh there it is right there so it'll be BGM 45 now if you really want to uh, check uh, how this uh, BGM sounds like. This is where the Sounds of Evolus uh, comes into play. So, so next, step three. You want to open up the Sounds of Evolus. Okay, so once you open that, you would go to Add Sources. Uh, you will now look for BGM 45. Right there open that so now you will you'll get something like this on this uh, side here you click on that and then you click on this and then you right click and then you would convert it as wave once you hit that just uh, usually I save it under the same folder where that BGM is at so save it and then go back to that wave file oh there there we go to that wave file BGM 45 sorry it's messy Okay, so that's the battle theme for the original game gameplay. So let's just say you know you want to replace that battle theme with another one. So I got something ready. So we're gonna use the Final Fantasy IV battle theme. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna replace replace the original with this one right here. So whenever you want to edit uh, something, or, or I'm sorry, uh, not edit. Well. Pretty much, you want to create a loop for your new music to uh, go into the to the Chrono Trigger. 
you want to create a loop. So uh, otherwise, if you don't create this loop, um, once the music uh, finishes, it's nothing but dead silence. So <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want that. So you want to create a loop. So this is where the uh, um, Wavasaur comes in. And so next, you will open up Wavasaur. Okay. Now you can either open the the music that you want through file open or just drag it like I, I usually do. So I'm gonna use this. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're gonna use this. Oh, geez. Actually, I really need to edit that. <laughs> okay, so now that I edit some of the parts out, um, so we're, we're gonna be using this one right here for the battle theme. Okay, so this is uh, how you create your loop. If you guys don't really care how it sounds, because mine, mine, mine is really bad. So uh, usually I, I just didn't care. So to create the loop, you want to just uh, go to, uh, I think it was tools, loop, and then create loop points. So this is where the loop will start and this is where the loop will end. So let's just say, um, I want the loop to start from here. Once once the original uh, intro starts from this point here and it ends, it will start back right here. So I think, uh, let's see how it sounds from uh, this part here. So let's just say, uh, let's try that. I, um, I'm not so sure now anymore. <laughs> okay, so. The, pretty much, yeah. This part right here, uh, we'll, we'll start. Um, so once you got that loop um, uh, set up, just go ahead. Oh yeah, one more thing before you uh, save save this, make sure you guys uh, lower down the dB volume because it is really really uh, loud. Um, once you replace this, uh, the original. Um, the original um, volume is is really loud when you when you first um, uh, edit it. So I I would uh, recommend you guys set it to like to at least uh, 14 dot nine dB or fifteen pretty much. Yeah, about like somewhere right there, somewhere right here, uh, just so it's not too loud. Uh, okay, so next you want to go file and then save as. Yeah, save it as a wave uh, file. So once you do that, you hit save, and pretty much it would sh it should show up on the folder where you last save off. So yeah, here it is. So this is how it will sound. Okay. So now next, um, we go back to the uh, sounds of Evolus. So pretty much, yeah, um, just. Uh, Hope, hope, like like again I said hopefully you still have it open you want to right click on the BGM 45 replace track so and then now you just look for that uh, that new soundtrack that you just edit hit open okay so once you got that uh, just hit patch and now you want to save this new uh, this new BGM uh, so normally I would just go see you know since I have uh, things that are already edited here I'm just gonna go to the Chrono Trigger mods and I'm gonna save it here and you know you can save it wherever you want to but um, since I already have some things that are uh, edited on my Chrono Trigger so I didn't want to replace it so so yeah so it's on here so you want to Go back to your CT Explorer, and you remember that uh, BGM 45 on the sound part. Uh, look for that. Uh, let's see. I think it was sound. Sound BGM. Uh, come on. Sorry about that. Let's see. Oh, I just totally missed it. Okay, so you want to look for BGM 45. Okay, so that. So next, you want to right click and replace so once you hit that look for that track that you want to replace so uh, I believe it was in my desktop uh, this one right here 
say open okay so once I want that is highlighted it means it's uh, something is uh, either getting replaced or or um, being edited so just go ahead go file and save archive and let it save it's taking its time all right so now let's go test this out and there you go so what do you guys think <laughs> eventually it's, it's kind of weird to uh, <laughs> have a different battle theme but anyways well there you have it guys uh, this is how you replace the music mods and the um, crown trigger game so yeah, I hope uh, all that makes sense, and uh, if you guys... Oh, okay, so anyways, yeah, like I was saying, <laughs> that was too loud. So um, yeah, I just want to say uh, thank you uh, for watching. Hope this tutorial helps you guys out. Please remember to subscribe, comment, share, smash that like button, please. And um, yeah, um, I'll hopefully this, this may all makes sense. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time on another tutorial or another gameplay. Have a good day, everybody.